Um, here's Donald Trump. Uh, let's play that clip. Here's one. Uh, we have two more. Uh, or actually, no, here it is. Let's go. This, th this, let's play number five. This Trump is heavy. Yeah. Day. Listen, guys, we're warriors. We're all warriors. <laughs> this is it. You got this is this is like the most reminiscent when Don, when when we got attacked on 9/11. One of the things that uh George Bush was saying that to preserve the American way, we need to go out and shop. You need to go out and shop, everybody. Get out there and shop. And in some way, this is what Donald Trump is wants us to look inside ourselves and see us ourselves as warriors. Go, go get the disease, you, you can't be touched. You know, I just wanna finish a follow up. If I understand you don't wanna keep the country closed for five years, but don't you want your advisors to keep looking at this closely the way well, you they have? they are looking at it very right? closely. They are looking at it very closely. <laughs> and, and I tell, I just said it today, I used the word for the first time, I think in terms of what we're doing, I'm viewing our great citizens of this country to a certain extent and to a large extent as warriors. They're warriors. We can't keep our country closed. We have to open our country. Somebody said, oh, we could keep it for the next 18 months. We could keep it for the next two years. Doug Ducey's done an incredible job as the governor of Arizona. Uh, the people aren't going to accept it. They won't accept it and they shouldn't accept it. We have a great country. <laughs> We can't keep it closed. I mean, I've had doctors say, well, why don't we close it for a couple of years? This is the United States of America. I created with a lot of other very talented people and the people of our country, the greatest economy in the history of, of the world, the greatest that we've ever had, the greatest employment numbers, the best numbers we've ever had, the best stock markets. I think we had 144 days of record stock markets. And then one day they said, we have to close our country. Well, now it's time to open it up. And you know what? The people of our country are warriors, and I'm looking at it. I'm not saying anything is perfect. And yes, will some people be affected? Yes. Will some people be affected badly? Yes. But we have to get our country open, and we have to get it open soon. Uh, maybe I could ask Doug if you'd like to. Yeah. You know what I, I'm just struck by is the, the and, and I guess this shouldn't be a surprise in terms of, and I think this sort of is a, in some respects an American affliction, but it, this is, he really does feel like he's been cheated. Oh yeah. Like it is not fair. I was, totally unfair. I did everything right. Yep. And then China did it to me. The Democrats did it to me. They brought the Corona. And that's not fair. So we're opening up. Doesn't count. This doesn't exist. The the we just as like like there's just no. Uh, it's. I mean, honestly, it's like it's it's reminiscent of like a seven year old. It's just like, but I you told me we could watch a movie, but I'm sorry, the power's out. The TV doesn't work. But you said I could watch a movie. I know but the power is out and we can't turn the TV on. But you said, well, yes, I know. I mean, and that, you're having that's power, you're having, you're having power problems up there. It, it happens. Oh, um, but that is, I knew that that was plucked from the, uh, Oh yeah. No, no real life. Oh, uh, yeah. oh yeah. So no, I mean, I think that's, yeah, of course. Same exact attitude. Of course, of course, of course. And I, I also, you know, look, even in the even in the most resilient of economies that had all the things that I want an economy to have, obviously a pandemic would affect it very negatively. But I have to say, can, you know, the idea that this economy is so great and so robust and so incredible and jobs that are already completely underpaid, undervalued and disrespected that don't have any protection to, built into them could be shed by tens of millions in a matter of weeks. I, you know, I don't know if that that's not the robust economy I'd want to go into the future with, no matter what the stock market was doing. And by the way, the stock market is is not necessarily doing bad. It's been all over the place. I mean, oh, there's no. another horrifying proof that the stock market can do just great. I read an analysis last week in the Financial Times. And they were and you could tell some of these uh, traders were very intrigued. They were like, 
we can have this level of unemployment and this level of stock performance. That's very interesting. Well, that, I mean, that is a function of $4 trillion. Yeah, of course. Pumped into, of course. I mean, they, that's, that is, that is the, I think in, in six to 12 months, we're going to look back on this time and we're going to see, it's almost as if there is been, uh, you know, an embalming fluid put into the body of our economy at this point. And so it's stiff and it's, it's stand, it can, you know, the body can stand up and it's look, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 it's, it's rigid. Um, it hasn't collapsed, but that's because it has been, the the essentially just one element of it has been pumped in. There's two uh, implications of that. One is again, and we said this, you know, when we were talking about the um, uh, cares one or cares two in the first place. Everybody's on a you know uh, a yellow flag going around the track, and one small segment of uh, the people in our society have been basically said, "You've got the green flag. You can go full speed," because they're getting trillions of dollars of free money that they're borrowing now. And they're just uh, essentially buying all the assets, the distressed assets they can. And all uh, they're all flush with cash. At one point, it's quite possible that maybe it never catches up to them. Uh, at one point, the real question is going to be, once we get out of this sort of state of shock that we're in right now and people start to realize, like, you know, we're still within the window of the 10 weeks of like small businesses uh, having... Um, uh, essentially loans or grants to, to, to pay their payroll. But we're the 10, the 10 weeks runs out in mid June and then there's nothing. And we're going to start to see the impact of the unemployment money, not getting there. 